Iron Bonds, Barry Schmeiser, Gunnar Keefe and Nev, names modern 40k players may not be too familiar with, but in the dark days of the late 80s and early 90s, these were just a few of the fearless but tiny ab humans known as the Squats. In the 32 years since then, the Squats, they got squatted. But in their place rose an equally fearless but equally tiny new faction, the Leagues of Votan. Welcome to Tantrums Tabletops, I'm Ben, and on this edition of the Paintbot Chronicles, we're doing some squats. See here we have the Leagues of Votan army set. Um, got this from my local hobby store, Heroes. Um, there are many videos out there to give the full background of squats in the Leagues of Votan. Um, Snipe and Wib have done an excellent video in their Codex Compliance series, which I will link here. Um, but just the, for me, my first discovery of the squats was back in the Dark Days of Second Edition. Um, as a kid, some friends and I went to a store on the Isle of Wight called Fun Fact and Fantasy. So I remember one of my friends rummaging through a box of loose second-hand minis and coming away with a bunch of these cool space dwarfs. And that was the last I saw of them until I got back into the hobby again and realized that squats didn't exist anymore. Let's uh, throw that codex away. That's some Votan gambling chips and the other important instructions. So, this pre-nerfed, already useless book of fluff, um, you know, looks great, the covers are really cool, some good background, you know, the, the fluff points value is rubbish. What should we do with this codex? We'll let fate decide. So just um, you know, building the models. So the whole point of this video, we're building the first 20 Hearthkin Warriors for New Year New Army, and also as part of Armies on Parade. I find the best thing to do is chuck on something in the background. So here, I'm watching tabletop time roleplay, but painting tutorials, just product reviews, podcasts, anything to kill the monotony of putting together little plastic soldiers. With these videos, I know Tom has been quite clear that he's really interested in trying out new techniques that he's found online and really wants to share with people. Um, eventually I'd like to do that, but this series for me is more logging and documenting the process of getting this new year, new army together, ready in time for Armies on Parade at the end of the year. So as a quick note, in your video, Tom, you claim that you won the uh, Christmas painting challenge. I'm here to tell you that's not the case. So 
So on these models, I started one at a time, first painting the shoes. The shoes here are Avedon black, a bit of Corvus black, and then Eshing grey. The basic green on the outfits are Incubi Darkness at this stage. And then the grey slash white colour for the armour panels is Games Workshop Celestra Grey, which I prefer using to a straight up white paint. should probably also know at this point that I'm not the neatest of painters. So at this point, after spending what felt like hours painting each model and not getting very far, I did what any self-respecting model maker would do and cried about it on my Instagram page. And I got some really useful feedback from people. Try batch painting. You know, don't paint one at a time. Paint all of one colour, all the next, all the next and it was really useful. I think at this point I'd managed to get this down to three minutes per model for the green, still using the Incubi Darkness from Citadel Color. We've moved on a little bit, trying to do some of the leather work on each of the models. Bugman's glow on the face there to start off with to build the base, and then various other Citadel flesh tones on top. So, uh, Cadian flesh tone, Kislev flesh, and then probably the flayed one's flesh for highlights. Now we're just going through picking out any things that have been missed, so inspecting the models for any handles that aren't painted, any metallics that haven't been painted properly yet. Just going through there, you can see one of the lines was too thick, so just mix that with a little bit of the Celestra Grey. I'm painting some metallics now with the Vallejo metal colours are actually fantastic paints though. It's the first time I've used them was on these models and can't fault them at all. And now I have tried, I lied, I've challenged myself a little here because I hate using water side transfers. So to really push myself, and as you can see, I'm useless, but the plan was to actually use them in this army. And pretty pleased with how they came out, although it may not look it here. And yeah, with the transfers done, that's everything. So let's see how they came out. So yeah, overall really pleased with how these models have come out. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below, any comments or criticisms. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.